What's up, everyone? Well, uh, today I'd like to talk about the... Well, I would talk about the illusion of choice, which is uh, a lot of people talk about the illusion of choice, that uh, while it seems that we have many options, really it's all paying the same guy. Uh, say when it comes to buying purchasing power, let's say we go and buy from a small mom-and-pop business and come to find out they're owned by a larger conglomerate. And, uh, and that's very common in today's... Uh, <clears throat> economic world, but I wanted to talk about uh, the pretty much the opposite, which is the paradox of choice. This is the way that uh, our choices in this world have become so plentiful that we can't seem to make one. And um, you might think it's kind of, uh, you know, a joke, but it's, it's, uh, it's actually a serious thing. People have a major problem making a choice when it comes to, say, even buying groceries at the store. They see ten different brands of, you know, it's like this one guy made an example. He said he looked up on Amazon, he was looking for a new toilet brush. And so he ended up doing all this research for a couple of hours and he looked into it and found out there were 15 or 1,300 different types of toilet brushes on Amazon. The next day he went down to the dollar store and bought the only kind of brush they had and he was happy with it. These types of choices don't just stem from purchasing, they also uh, extend very well into uh, getting jobs. And this is kind of where I wanted to lead it to, the idea that uh, since there's so much going on out there and there's so many potentials, so many jobs that we could possibly get that we don't even choose one. We never settle down and say, all right, I'm going to do it. And the paradox of choice makes it difficult for us also to decide, let's say, what we should be activist about. Let's say, uh, do I you know, do I act on global warming? Do I act on pollution? Do I just worry about my local community? And uh, I think over a period of time, we start to just kind of shut down to everything. And then we get new new information, new news, and we're like, oh God, it's just something else. It's just something else. And I read something that said that uh, 500 years ago, there were 2,000 different jobs you could possibly get in this world. And uh, many of those probably were out of the reach of a lot of people, or at least as far as they were concerned. Today there's somewhere around a half of a million different jobs a person can do. And it makes it difficult if you're in college right now and you're learning something in particular and you're trying to take on a career. Um, I feel sorry for you. I mean, I really do. It must be very difficult because it gets worse every year. And then they're telling us, you know, that we need more engineers and more programmers and, and we need more tech people. So on one hand, we're told that the jobs are, you know, that there's not enough jobs, we need to create jobs. And on the other hand, people are saying, well, there's plenty of jobs in the tech industry, it's just that we need more people that are specialists in particular things. And here's the thing we have to remember, jobs are only as good, if you're working for someone else, you know, they're only as good as what the other person is striving for. You as an individual have the potential to go out and create your own reality, be an entrepreneur. And if you can find something in this world that's worth it, something that people want, um, then you can get by just fine. But it's not as easy when there's so many different options, and I know that all too well. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, I could extend this into everything. Cannabis growing. There's so many different strains that, that growers today have everything available they could possibly want. Back in the day, it was like whatever you could get a hold of, you know. And uh, So this happens with a lot of things. So I would say... I don't really have any particular advice to how to avoid that, except for to be aware of it. And when you see something that seems to be uh, a complicated choice, maybe narrow it down, think about it a little more clearly, like what do you really want out of it? What do you need out of it? Um, do you even need it at all? I'd prefer to do my shopping on smaller sites or areas where there's not too many things. Places like eBay, you want to look up and find a new you know, you're looking for a new bracelet or, you know, a piece of jewelry or something. You end up spending two hours searching for something and buying nothing. What good is that, you know? It's tough. Anyway, that's my talk today. I'm going to go make some choices about what I should get done. Because that's one of the other ones. I'm trying to get shit done around the house. And I think, okay, I need to get this cleaned up and I need to do this and this. And, ah, screw it. I'll do something else. Let's make a video about it. Hey, I'm procrastinating on putting shit away. I'll go talk about it on camera.